In this video, you will learn how to create a funnel chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this funnel chart using this set of data. It is the data about the sales. So first column shows the stage and second column shows the amount. By using this data, I have generated this graph. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, you will select this data. Now I have selected this data. Go to Insert tab and in Insert tab, you will find the option of Charts. Go to this option, click this down arrow and you will find different options. Under the waterfall, you will find the option of Funnel Chart. Click here. Now you can see here Funnel Chart is inserted here. Now we will learn how to conditionally format this funnel chart. Firstly, select its title, double click here and I will change it. Sales Pipeline, I will select this one and format it, go to Home tab bold and 16 change its color to black now you can see here the these bars appeared here but i want to change these bars shape to this one so i have to apply a trick for that purpose go to this insert option and in insert option you will find the option of illustrations click here and uh, if you click here then this option will be visible again go to illustrations option then you can see here this smart art option appeared here click here and from here i will go to pyramid option and i will select inverted pyramid click here then again go to OK option. Now you can see here uh, the parameter inserted here. Now you can see here it has only three shapes. I want to add more shape. Firstly, I will place it here. Now here you can see here we have six shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six and currently uh, this inverted parameter contain only three shapes so firstly we will insert three shapes go to add shape option and click on add shape after again click here and go to add shape after again repeat this step add shape and add shape after now you can see here it has uh, six shape and our graph also contain six shape so firstly select this one now you can see here only one shape is selected go to home tab and from here i will change its shape to red now select second one and change its color to green select third one and change its color to purple similarly select fourth one and change its color according to your desire fifth one and i will change its color to this one similarly i will select last one and i will change its color to this one after doing that, click on this shape. Now you can see here the whole shape is selected. Right click here and you will find the option of convert to shape option. Click here. Now this is converted to shape. Now click on this shape. Again click on this. Now you can see here only this shape is selected. Right click and copy this. So I want to format this bar like this one. So I have copied this one. Now click on this graph and again click on 
first bar now you can see here only first bar is selected right click go to format data point and again here i will go to fill and line option and in fill option you will find a option picture or texture fill select this one and click on clipboard now you can see here its, it's shapes is changed now again click on second shape again click on second shape now you can see here only this shape is selected if you click first time then all graph or all shape is selected then again click on particular shape then this particular shape will be selected right click copy this one now again click on this graph now you can see here whole graph is selected or all bars are selected now again click on this bar now you can see here only this bar is selected right click go to format data point and go to fill and line option click picture or texture fill and from here from picture source select clipboard now you can see here this shape is inserted here so you can follow similar step for remaining shape i will not repeat this step to save time and next task is how to edit the data labels i will place it here now click on data labels right click go to format data label option and here you will find different options if you want to display series name you can check this option now you can see here the series name amount is displayed here similarly you can check category name you can see here the category name series name and data labels are displayed here if you uncheck this option this will be disappeared similarly i will close this one i have selected these data labels i will bold them i can change their color using this option and you can also adjust font size using these options now you will learn how to edit these axes click here right click go to format axis option and in format axis option option you will find the option of tick marks i want to insert tick marks on outside i will select outside again on outside you can even adjust the format of number using this option now go to this option font option you can see here i have we have already selected the axis option and we can change their axis label using this option i will select black color for them and from here i adjust their font size to 11. now i want to insert a solid line here with black color for that purpose i will go to fill and line option and here you will find the option of line you can select solid line from here and you can adjust the color of line using this option i will select black one now if you scroll down you will find the option of width you can adjust the width of line i will change it to 1.5 pt so by doing so you can easily edit this one now if you uh, click this graph and right click go to format chart area you will find the option of size and properties from here you can adjust its size and properties easily now select this chart right click here you will find the option of format data series and in series option you will find the option of series options you can adjust the gap width between these bars if you in, you can increase them or decrease them according to your choice that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye